Hello. coming in on a steady basis that the first two days was finding these annuities. So by this point, I had already found this and I didn't have any ALP written though. I didn't have any uh, premium written. So at this day on day three, because I believe I took off on Monday and I only worked Thursday and then the rest is study and training and, and, and growing the business, uh, $10,000 in one day was done. <clears throat> there was however one other app here done for about 1100 bucks. So this number is more like $11,000 per week. But in this one sit, this number was accomplished. And you know, by the end of the week, you're getting nervous and you say, oh shit, I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not gonna be out in the field on Friday, you automatically know your schedule and you say, I'm gonna have to wait till next week. But, and we were gonna give up. We said, hey, look, this is good enough for us. And you know, Alyssa is actually the one that states, hey, let's keep you going. So. I stayed out there and ran into this situation. And I want to explain what this situation entailed. So 
just to get that number because this can be done in any home too. It just doesn't necessarily have to be just that particular house that I pulled this off. But when I bring the, the word value to the table in training, it means a lot to, to, to the, to the uh, prospect at first before they become a client or a prospect. And this prospect, I have to bring value. I can not bring value and be an ordinary rep, Chris and, and everybody. And, uh, I can I could sell thirty dollar and fifty dollar premiums all day long. You know I, I I can be the ordinary, but I choose to be extraordinary. So I bring value to the table. What is value? Value is what is inside the product that you don't know yet. It's the it's the mechanics of the product that make the engine roar, not just putt. There's like a golf cart compared to my Dodge Hemi. It, it really allows the product to be looked at from this point of view, from a higher standpoint than a lower point of view. Because when you get in the house, all they're thinking, about, hey, I'm just going to cover the mortgage. But the, for the simplicity of it, all I'm doing is using what the product gives you to build value and sell larger premium. So I get more premium by bringing value. What is value inside a product? Product value. Let's talk about that so you understand what value means. One, value can be standpoint of are you mentioning living benefits? I even tell, like, uh, you know, Sam's now sitting with people that are final expense individuals, but now he's capable of offering them mortgage protection on a final expense lead. So for final expense people trying to get into this market, you can also start with bringing value through living benefits. Two, you got cash value or ROP. So why would anybody worry about this? These two mechanics of this property, of this product, allow for this product not to have, it's like worry free. You don't have to worry about it. The, the, the reason this is so powerful is because Nine of ten of these people you're sitting with do not have enough money for retirement. So this product doesn't just allow for me to cover your wife in the time of her need, Mr. Jones, but it also allows me to cover both of you in your time of need to allow you to retire at a time when we can't tell what inflation is going to be or what tax increases will look like or even if Social Security will be there. You know, if Social Security is not there, which is a huge threat to all of us, us in general, that's why I always suggest too, by the way, that us as reps get involved with our own products. Purchase a product, learn your products that way too. So you got cash return premium and you got nine to 10 people in need of it because of the retirement portion, but they need it also because of the what? They need to protect things. They need to protect the home itself and the wife from having to leave at age 70 or 80. I don't know what age you guys are dealing with, but I'm in an older crowd. Now I got people buying homes at 80. I got people buying at 70 and 60 years of age. That means in 30 years, this guy will be 90 years of age. So the likelihood of his wife continuing to need mortgage payments is very high. If they're past the age of 50, they're going to need mortgage payments. He's probably going to die at 80 ish, 90 ish years of age. So you got a timeline here that cuts off in 20 years, but you got 10 years of mortgages left. So this strategy here doesn't necessarily mean that you need to sell on the mortgage number itself. Meaning that if it's a $200,000 mortgage, doesn't mean you need to sell them $200,000 in premium because they're old and they're older. And that kind of premium, unless you build value, they're never gonna grab it. They're never gonna take it off you. I'm telling you, they never grasp it. They could be the wealthiest human on being and not see value, especially them, because they have the money. So they're even more difficult to deal with in the middle class if there's such thing anymore, or if you want to consider a lower class. What I'm trying to get to is this part of the puzzle is where you want to buy them the, the, the end result. So making it fit in their budget is a big part of the puzzle, but you have to show them how it works. So if you show them that in the last 10 years is all you'll need, or from the, I usually do from the 15th year on, because Mr. John Jor, you're 60 years of age right now. Your average client is probably 50, 60 years of age, I'd imagine. Maybe, maybe in some demographics, 30 and 40, but right as of here, they need 15 years of coverage. You got 200 grand, they need 100,000 bucks. That makes more sense. But I'm going to show them those three options. I'm going to show them 100. I'm going to show them 100 and a half, and I'm going to show them the 200. I'm not going to deter from showing them. 
because I've already got this value built. I say, Mr. Jones, God forbid you get cancer, heart attack, or stroke, and your wife's income is no longer here. The math tells me that you also need an income. Now, maybe both of you are forced to sell the home, and maybe you don't like to hear this, but I'm here to protect you from the worst case scenario, not the best case that's in your mind. I'm the worst case scenario life insurance rep. Let me erase this so it looks a little neater for you guys. So being the worst case scenario individual. I think from you, Jason, and the other people that are normally sitting in these spots, top five spots, is price is never value. Price is never the reason why your clients are buying. It's normally the product, the carrier, or as you mentioned, the living benefit, the cash value, the return of premium. Some of the newer agents on the call have a conception that I want the company that is the best price. Cheapest. It's never the reason that your clients are buying these products. It's part of the last reason, of anything, that they're buying the product, unless it's just on another level of expense. The, the product, product price isn't in my mind. Budget is, but not product price. Because here's what I do know about the average household. I was in a house the other day where this individuals were telling me that they didn't have the money, and we took a sheet of paper and sliced it down the middle with their names here. And I said, give me your bad habits. I, I listed mine first to show them, look, this is what I do. I got Red Bull eight, days, eight, eight times a day. I got coffee. I got this. I got that. And at the end of the day, within two strikes, his smoking was $240 a month. His eating out, their eating out habits were kind of $500 a month. That's 740 bucks out of the 3,500 they have a month coming in. There's something broke there. When you can tell me that these two things mean more than her protection. So I validate this. I'm sure that we can get your budget to an affordable situation where you guys are spending 500 bucks a month on eating out his smokes. You're going to have to cut down on them smokes a little bit. And we can now protect the home for 250 bucks a month while putting you a retirement schedule away. Because these two are in their 50s, and they just started their 401k. Can you imagine what retirement? There is no retirement for it. It doesn't exist. They're depending on Social Security at 1000 bucks each when the mortgage is 1200 bucks. What are you going to do, survive in 25 years on 800 bucks a month? It's just not going to happen. So all you new reps out there and all you veteran reps need to start bringing value through the statistics and the numbers that are actually factual truths of running into enough people or just being inventive and coming up with the numbers and strategies that people really, in the reality of their future, need to see or they're going to be hurt. I tell you, Chris, I go in with the heart and love of, like, uh, of Jesus himself. I just want to help these people so badly that it, I think it oozes out of me from an authoritative point of view. Maybe, maybe I'm a little pushy, maybe I'm a little loud, but well, they will feel the love through rapport to the point of rapport to the point of trust as a human, and then report to the point of trust with my products and knowledge of the numbers. So if you guys can get a piece of paper out, even right now, and write down a few things, that would be a way to remember this. And, and, and that'd be a great way for you to use this again, because I'm using, one, I'm bringing value. And Chris, you're right. Price is not a valuable point, but budget is. Because we have to make it fit there. We're not so concerned about what this is. I don't care. Chris, you know I don't care if it's $300, $600, $1,000 a month when I can validate the value of that. Value equals strength and bonding between you, the, the client and, and the product itself. It's like them running into the most sleek, beautiful car that they've ever wanted and wanting it back. Now they want it. They don't just think about it. They want it. Now they got to have it. So these takeaways in there help too. So you got the budget involved and you got the price. So this price is the, is the point that most reps are selling on when they're trying to get the cheapest or they're trying to go for the largest without value. And without that, my friend, it's going to fall off the books, and I guarantee you're going to be out of business real fast. So I'd rather somebody go for the lowest price while working on bringing value to the table. So while you're learning the business, go for something that fits in the budget. While you're trying to teach over time, you'll start learning how to bring value to the table for your newbies. 
And then, of course, you know, knowing what they have to work from. I, I, I Guys, Alyssa can vouch for me. Uh, Chris, when we tell them stories about us in the field that I get thrown out of homes. I mean, uh, gay women, which year one doesn't really like me? Uh, gay men, I'm okay there, but the sensitive one usually doesn't like me. Couples, the men of men doesn't usually like me because I'm in his lion's den and I'm trying to inform him gently of things that he has done wrong in time over his lifetime. And, and that's not the picture you want to paint. I admit sometimes I've been wrong by this and I've changed my strategies up. But you do not want to tell somebody that what they've done in the past is incorrect. So you have to come off like they've done a great job to this point, but at this point, they're going to need to re-up on a new strategy concept, a new idea. All you're there to do is give them options. All they did was fill out a piece of paper, so listening to you doesn't kill them. It's not going to harm them. I swear to you, you never see anybody drop by listening to what i got to say. And I tell you, nine times out of ten, Mr. Jones, they come out on top. All I need is five or ten minutes to get this out of me and get it on paper so you better understand your options. And this word here has got me through a lot of situations. You know, it doesn't feel like um, I'm selling, but I'm telling. So at this point, I have the ability to take this budget and I want to know, I really do in my situation, I don't know that this is correct for you to do. I mean, maybe you're upline and Chris has a different concept for you. But I will say to them, listen, after the end of the month, how much you, how much do you figure that you save a month for, for her? I always put things in perspective. Like I want them to see what I'm talking about is for her, for his needs and for her needs. I never just say how much you put away in savings. Because that will look like I'm crying. People don't like that. I will say, how much is in savings for her to buy time? So when you don't do my product, there it's gone. When you don't take, do my product, that she has enough time to get through this. Well, we have about 6000 bucks saved up. It's usually the wealthy that give you more of an issue. The middle class and broke people don't really give you an issue about this because there's nothing to really talk about. There's 6000 bucks in there, and they're taking 300 bucks a month out of what? What's actually left over, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, after you pay all your bills? Is it like you've got 500 or below or 500 or above left over? We got 500 and above. That comes you closer to 750 or 1,000 bucks. We're closer to 1,000. So out of that 1,000, what are you doing with that 700? Because that's the number we could use for a couple things. We could use it for your retirement. We could use it to protect your wife and kids from the loss of this home. We can use it for your cancer, heart attack, and stroke. And if you're out of work and you can't walk, talk, bathe, eat, dress, toilet, transfer yourself around, even drive a vehicle, that this money is yours while you're alive. Doesn't that sound like a better investment? Instead of taking 300 bucks a month and jamming it into a savings account that comes with zero interest, it provides you no future. Plus that 6,000 bucks, that's a great job so far, but I want you to continue that. So my strategy would be like more like this. It'd be like, Let's continue that 300 bucks a month, but we're going to transfer it into something that earns a little more interest. We're going to give you living benefits. So we're going to provide you with something the banks cannot do, which is give you cancer, heart attack, and stroke coverage. Let me ask you something, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Is that one in your family tree? Sometimes this works, sometimes it does. Um, yeah, my dad had a heart attack last week. Well, you know what? The likelihood is pretty high, don't no? Let's, let's talk about that a little bit, and let's get into that. So if you can't walk, talk, bathe, eat, dress, toilet, transfer yourself around, that we're capitalizing on a $100,000 guaranteed ticket. Like, here's the bottom line between you two guys. This is going to happen. You can't avoid that. When it happens, we don't know. But would you not rather be prepared, Mrs. Jones? I say Mrs. Jones. Mr. Jones might not give a shit yet, because I'm going to tell you two things, and I use this to a lot against him and her. I use this a lot against them, too. So out of the two of you, I just need to know if it's an income situation and they're younger, who has the two of the higher incomes? Because I want to know what the difference is going to be, what you'll need to survive, uh, Mrs. Jones. So he has 2000 bucks a month. Or let's say she has 2000 bucks a month, and he has 4000 bucks a month. I always say, guess who's safe? He's okay. I give him a big check mark. He's fine. 
You, on the other hand, have a $1,200 bill to pay every month. You have equity established in the product already, which is your home, and it's about 50 k This is at jeopardy right now. It's you against the bank right now when he's no longer here. You have, what, 800 bucks left over? What are you going to do with this? While you two have six uh, six thousand dollars a month coming in, you said you have a thousand dollars left over. I would think that it would be very easy to say that you may have closer to fifteen hundred to two thousand on some good months. So would it be an issue if we started looking at three hundred, five hundred, and seven hundred dollar products? that act like savings accounts, come with living benefits, and guarantee to pay this off well for you too, one way or the other. Now look at the other part. There's part four. I didn't even get to the fourth portion of the product. You two need retirement. You're going to need it. Your 401k up and down, up and down in the market, participating in these downsides, wishing upon the upsides, you're going to need an extra retirement schedule. Now only this Bravest put this aside. Only the smartest financial people in the world know this. You now have the ability to change your life for the future for both of you. Not just one of you gone and one of you is alive, but for both of you. For the rest of your lives. We're talking about the rest of your lives here, guys. And when you take that into consideration and you're already spending the money, by the way, you're already spending the same amount. So I, I may be putting in the scenario that this 300 is uh, let's say that this is uh, depending on the age of the individual. Of course, let's say this is two hundred thousand. Let's take it up to five hundred. What's the difference between these two? Is two hundred extra dollars? Okay. What's that divided by thirty days in a month? You you can start stripping the extra numbers down and showing them how small it is, and showing them where they actually spend it. So as if it's lotto tickets, I have a lady that spends thirty three thousand dollars a year on scratchy lottery tickets and has never won. In all the years she's been playing, she'd rather do that, he'd rather do that than change their life when it's a guarantee all he could get was 100 grand. But taking this away from her, so within three years, she spends close to 100 grand, goes nowhere. I mean, this is just absolutely absurd to give a woman that much money to blow. When she, see, the man isn't smart enough. He'd rather see her joy at this time of life than her joy at this time. And men have to start becoming men and really, really, really do the smart thing here and put their women into a position of care and justice and, 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 and not torment and, and terror because that's what it's going to be. The equity in the home is another weapon for you guys to so use. I got, I, I got a couple of questions that, that popped in that you can just... Sure. Know, but this is always just, okay. Don't get me started, man, because I keep going. One of the through that. Here's the paper. All we use is old paper that's left over from apps that we haven't written and things like that. We recycle the paper and then we put it into a clipboard for me and there's stacks of this stuff. I swear to God each home is about a stack like that or it could be a hell of a lot larger than that. So it could be a stack like this, like this, in some cases for two people. I scratch every single word down for a visual so that it's a reminder, this is my paper. Yes, this is me inside the house bringing this word to a picture. I want them to see the numbers. Guys, if I'm, what, I don't know any other way to do it today. Today's getting harder than ever. When I started seven years ago, it wasn't this tough to do this. But now it's becoming tougher to sell these people. But in long story short, yes, I do use the paper. And if you want to know more about details about that, we can talk later about that. But as you see me writing, just imagine every piece of paper I've gone through just to train you is the same thing I do for the client. Photos. I want them to have using their eyes and ears and even touch. So I'm using sensory things going on in the home, you know, to bring value. 
So my products to go to, uh, you know, I, I easily state that to Alyssa, I really don't have a favorite one. I'm not that guy. I have the ones that I see. I do so many different things inside the home that I adjust to their, I always use this word too, their needs. And, and guess who created the need? Because when I walk into a home, they don't even know what the hell the need is. They really think that it's just for the mortgage, but it goes beyond that to bring value and get more numbers out of them. Now, when I say get more numbers out of them, I'm actually doing the right thing for these people's futures. I'm not just doing it for my bank account. I'm doing it for them. I can get term products sometimes, but I won't do it because I know it won't last them the rest of their lives, and I know that it'll hurt them in their 70s and 80s. I'm okay with you doing it. I won't do it in this area. And nine times out of 10, because of the age of my individuals, I can only get them 10 or 20 years of term because of the age. Chris, to answer that question, I would have to say that my personal favorite products, I love Foresters. I, I use the Smart UL, very strong. Uh, I get people to, to visualize the premium growth. Uh, you know, it's only 4.1, but there's no cap right now. And based upon that company and the membership benefits, Royal Neighbors, another great one that I didn't even know is as fantastic as they are until coming over to ADV1. Uh, and then, you know, I have Fidelity in, in, in uh, life is a, is a big one for me to establish the youth into a system where the 401k is, uh, you know, may, may not work out for them, but they may have to be a part of it. So if somebody has this, I will strategize something for retirement. Let me, let me just explain to you what I do in the home. And this will help. I'm always a strategist for retirement. Right. Carriers than just about any other agent to speak. You can have a complete view because you have a lot of team really are able to go through underwriting a lot better than most agents. What did you write last week? So from 10,000 to 326, <laughs> what, what carriers? Well, in that one home, we wrote five products just on one guy. So remember, all I could get this guy, I sold guaranteed issue as mortgage protection, by the way. So along with uh, the one before that, which was 1100 bucks, but for that deal was 11, uh, two, they were all $200 deals or more. So they were two to $300 deals each. So there was five of them, I think. American Amical, Royal Neighbors. Uh, AIG. And I would assume, I think it's Foresters, to be honest with you. All. And fair enough, but then you're, you're, I already know the answer, your duty of choice always, all day. Well, I, I know you want to say this, but I have a new strategy that I wanted to tell you about, which was if they're six, if they're older, bottom line is, is yes, I will bump them and encourage the bumps. I will bump them and encourage the bonus. Hey, look, doesn't a million dollars look better now that it's like a 12% bump or a 13% bump now, and it's like 15% too? That $150,000 bonus can get a lot of mortgages paid off overnight. So I use that strategy to pay off mortgages. But if they're younger, I am a huge believer in the higher of the YouTube interest rates that I've noticed, being Fidelity Life over time, that they can really possess a stronger outcome for them in the longer run. So it really does come down to the youth using F and G for me. Now that I have the strategy, Chris, but I haven't got to use it yet. But uh, for the older people, I'm going to tell you why. In my area, I go against three tough son of a bitches when it comes to selling annuity products. These annuity products are being sold by these people, and they already have the awareness of a theme. So my calculation tells me I can either walk away from this or I can sell them on a theme, and that's the only truck I have. I can't really force this down the it's hard, it's hard. It's hard to, to compete with the theme bonus. There's nothing better uh -huh. in the country right now than that bonus. And most of the agents on the call, they push a theme as well. Uh, I just want to make sure that they have your take on necessarily the bonus strategy as well. Yeah, the bonus is where it's at. And, you know, telling people this, you know, for some of my clients, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I'm able to get their homes paid off in anywhere from one to five years. I do want to share that strategy. Remember, I told you I'm here to give you all your options. So as a licensed representative of the state of Florida, I'll now do that. 
So I, I, I'm reminding them of who I am. I'm sharing with them my am license. I'm letting them know that this bonus, if I find a million dollars, and I have, you know, that's $150,000. And, and believe it or not, I've had people walk on it too. The, the, the strategy of their 30-year relationship is what you have to break up with the stockbroker. Good luck, because it's very difficult unless you know this product very well. And I'm telling you, I always, I'm screaming out, learn the products, learn the products. If you want to sell annuities and get the bigger numbers, anything below 500 grand, you won't need as much intelligence. You can sell from $100,000 to 500 grand and not need as much awareness of the product as you will from 500 to a million and above. If you want to get to these particular numbers, you learn that products and its inner workings. Like every product we have is a machine. And it turns, it's like a crank. You turn the key, it cranks up, and it has all these moving parts to it that you're not using. And if you want to get more premium out of people, I promise you, if you bring more value through, how about, let me go back real quick, Chris, to this word here, because I want people to write this down, and I want them to start creating this word. The, the need, what is that? that? That need when we're in the home, people are, they wonder, it's just mortgage protection, right? So. We're, we're here to protect the house, absolutely. Sometimes you can get people confused, so you'll watch doing this too, so you can have people say, hey, uh, I thought this was mortgage protection. Now it sounds like life insurance. Okay, yeah, it, the, 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 what are the two differences that you could explain between those two? And you might run into this. Between this not being life insurance and this being mortgage protection, well, life insurance usually has a turned out date to it, or, or, or it comes in term products that you work or it has a whole life factor where it just earns a little cash value and it's there for your final arrangements. It's death benefit, basically, final expense. This is where you get the larger numbers. You also get living benefits. You get cash returns on your, on your premium payments. So they actually designed it so you get all your money back. And they give you all these living benefits like cancer, heart attack, and stroke, and all this stuff. And then they have this death benefit that's enormous. And then they get the factor of retirement schedule put into it, too. So they got four benefits for you built into one product, living benefits, cash return on premium, death benefit, and retirement schedule. You get all that in one. You don't get that with final expense, variable coverage. So that's the difference I usually so one, explain. One, one of the questions coming through, and this is where I just want to make it clear, yeah. it comes down to the new agents. They'll, they're looking at like American Animal, term product, of course, return product, and just saying, I don't know what that is because my product don't have this. What kind of product are you offering that has the living benefits, cash, value, debt benefit, and retirement? Yeah, a lot of them will come with you got foresters which you can use, which is the smart UL. I'll just list them. You have one, smart UL. Smart UL You have Moo, Mutual Omaha, G U L and G U L Express. Number three, that's it for me. Yeah. Aside from F and G. In the same life, but that is, that's the spread and butter. Smart new all the forcers grows interest just about as good as any IUL out there. It focuses a little bit more on debt benefit. That's why it's such a strong more protection product. But yeah. It's living benefits, it's accidental rider, cash accumulation. It's amazing. I mean, if you, if you have a client that's healthy enough, there's really nothing better from a mortgage protection standpoint. Moo, GUO, and GUO Express, putting these two side by side, these are very comparable to each other. The difference would be in the interest rates. This is a steady 3% fixed. This is a fluctuating. So this, I've seen this at six, I've seen this as high as 5.85 is where I've seen it highest. It has no cap, so it could go up. It's at 4% now, 4.1, so it's close to Transamerica's 4.5, and it's uh, above the GUL. And F and G would be my final arrangement for the younger people. You don't want to get into the F and G Index Universal Life products until you've studied this. Use this product, these two products first, because this is where I started. Before I became an IUL marketer, seller, educator. And are you doing a lot of that yeah, yes, yeah. But occasions I will run into a situation where I try to, you know, 
push something through and got to do what I got to do. You know, bottom line is I, I do what I got to do. And whatever that case is, I will work until we're laying on a floor gasping for air. You know, this job is not the simplest of jobs, and especially in my area. I don't get the comfort of dealing with the, the simplest of people. The elderly people are not, you know, once they're retired, they expect everything under the sun given to them and, and almost for free. So you have to bring monstrous amounts of value. You have to get the mechanics down of your product, which are what? I mean, let's just make that real simple for people to understand, Chris. Let's just get the mechanics down of what brings the most value in a product. Those products that I just listed, by the way, the, the value and bullet points that I would use is that, of course, the death benefit is larger than in final expense. So you got this checkbox. You have the living benefits, which are enormous for why? There's two reasons why that's enormous. There's actually three. One, let's put A here, it's for him himself. Let, let's say it's on Mr. Jones. Nine times out of 10, too, by the way, you're gonna be covering the man has the face amount on him for the woman to receive. It's usually how it works out. B, for both of them. Now remember, these products have a lot of mechanics. It's for him if she's gone. If she's no longer here and he can still continue to pay the product, he still has the ability to keep these living benefits for him later on. See, I sell this product in this area to older people based on getting, getting cancer, heart attack, and stroke. I don't just need it for death benefit. I can sell. I You know what, Mr. Jones, i got a policy that will cover cancer, heart attack, and stroke. It will give you $100,000 while you're still alive. So that's huge. And guess what? It also gives you all your money back. They want to know what your agent in Florida. He's got about an hour outside of huge senior market, so a lot of his orders special needs are 50 plus. Oh yeah, oh yeah, even older than that. <laughs> it's called The Villages Florida. It was created like 25 years ago by a guy that owned a, 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 a trailer park, owned two of them, and now he's worth billions. Started this development and it never stops growing. It's miles and miles of 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 homes, and this is where